doing a DIY video. This is how I make um, DIY nail art stickers. So as you can see here, I just have my little superhero clipboard. <laughs> for, and on this clipboard, all it has is uh, 10 squares I drew on with um, a permanent marker, just kind of roughly the same size as one of your nails. And I drew 10 of them across. You could do more. Uh, or you can do several rows, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you want to do is so that you can see underneath it where you're painting. Okay, so we do that so that you can see where you're painting at. Um, I use the Seche Vite lines, and this is the Seche Clear, which is the base coat. And so I paint um, a pretty good size swath of it around one of these squares. And then I go ahead and do let that dry for a little bit. And these are kind of hefty, not, not very thin squares. I mean, I'm putting it on pretty thick. Let it dry for a little bit, and then I add a second layer. And after you have a second layer, it's... Uh, and that second layer is dry. I usually let it dry like overnight or something like that. I have bags of these prepped. This is actually a third layer for this one, but it's, per it's quite, I mean, I'm letting it glob right there at the end of my brush here. So it's, I mean, there's plenty of it on there. So you're just painting and you can go past where the square is. That's actually good. Helps you peel it up easier. Okay. So then once you have all those painted, then you can go on and paint your design. Now I use, because of the types of, um, designs that I do, they're very tiny, little micro designs. I either use my, I have a giant um, monster, the bundle monster off of Amazon. I'll try and put a link in the description. But basically it is a bundle of brushes that uh, I use a lot of the fine tip ones and the ball tools on there for doing some of these micro designs. And then, um, so you can paint your design that way, or you can go ahead and use like a stickers, uh, like a stamping set. And so the only stamping set that I have is the, um, queen, where is my stamp set? One second. There we go. There it is. So this stamp set is the Queen um, nail art set and I use this and the plates and I just make the stamps directly over that and um, if you want to make the stamps that way just make sure the stamps are dry and then you're ready to go to, to move them on your nails then the, and then you can just use them that way if you're not using a stamping set you just paint on whatever you want or you can even do a stamp and then paint in and fill colors that you want and then after they're done and they're set and they've dried probably at least 45 minutes, you can slowly peel them off. And so here, let me move this real quick. Okay, so you see that I've taken the clipboard off there. They're off there. So here is um, some of the painted ones. And you can kind of see, oh good, you can kind of see the um, colors. Oh, I already peeled that one, sorry. So... As you can see, they're pretty easy to peel off, <laughs> but after you peel them, they are, that's a little heart for Valentine's Day, they are just like a clear coat of base, co uh, base color, um, and then your nail art design, and then you just have to paint your nail with uh, base coat and let it dry a little bit, but while it's still tacky, you put this on, and then you can use... Um, a little bit of nail polish remover to clean up the edges. <laughs> they are very sticky. So I did a, a heart set that says be true, let's kiss, be mine. There's some more over here. Some love, some hearts. Real cute stuff. But um, I really have a trouble doing my right hand so I end up usually making um, a several stamps. You can see on this bag that I use I've made some of my stamps, and they're still, I mean, I can peel these up if I wanted to. Um, I don't want to use them quite yet, though, so I'm not going to do that, but, uh, well, that one's coming up anyway, so, you can see, I'll just peel off part of it. There you go. 
So with writing especially, I can put it on my right hand and not mess up. So there you go. Um, I don't generally peel them off of my gallon Ziploc bags until I'm ready to apply them. And, and not the other way around because they kind of dry up and get crumbly and they're hard to keep track of. Like these are ones that came off and they're starting to crumble on me. So it's easier if you go straight from the bag to the nail.